Welcome friends, uh, in this video tutorial we will be looking at uh, the structure of uh, the RNA polymerase true and uh, we will be seeing the different part of this polymerase and we will look uh, the functionality of each of this part during the transcription process. Now we can see in this picture that uh, there are several regions like uh, th this, this molecule, this RNA polymerase 2 is really a complex molecule because it has to do all the job on its own because we have seen uh, the process of DNA replication in this DNA replication we have seen uh, the effectivity of DNA polymerase but that enzyme uh, does not uh, do uh, the enzyme uh, usually do not uh, does not uh, do the most of the job on its own but in case of RNA polymerase uh, it is uh, meant for doing all these things on its own so here we can see all the different parts uh, are assembled together to properly functional uh, to, to make a properly functional uh, enzyme that can synthesizes uh, RNA segment from the scratch. Now we can see here th if this is the structure of RNA polymerase in the side view we can find two different regions one is the C-terminal region which is denoted as CTD another one is called the N-terminal region denoted as NTD but except for this CTD and NTD which we can see here it is a part of the alpha unit or alpha subunit of this uh, this protein and rest of the part are made up with beta subunits so the protein is actually made up with alpha beta and uh, also sigma subunits so alpha subunit is placed here at this uh, at this position beta subunit is rest of the place which is having or carrying the site for catalytic ap activity and there is this uh, another site which is colored purple here which is called the sigma site or sigma subunit which is a very very important for recognizing the promoter sequence with which uh, this RNA polymerase is going to bound at the very first step uh, before beginning the transcription process. Now among this alpha subunit it carries two different regions one is a C terminal domain of alpha which is called alpha CTD another one is called the N terminal domain of alpha or alpha NTD now these two domains are connected together by a very thin uh, structure of amino acid sequences now alpha CTD is a very important part to attach or recognize the up element sequences in the DNA uh, in the other hand this alpha NTD part are, are different it is uh, the structural unit that can hold on to the beta subunit of this polymerase 2 protein okay now come come to uh, the beta subunit portion which is the rest of the part now beta subunit portion is very very important because it carries the catalytic activity domain so uh, the catalytic activity cleft is present or is placed in this beta subunit so it is having a cleft in the, that cleft it can uh, vigorously add nucleotide sequences to the growing chain of RNA and it can produce mRNA from a DNA sequence now the third and most important type of uh, uh, subunit we can find here which is the sigma subunit why I called it a very very important because the sigma subunit is a very important one uh, or it pretend to be the most important one at the beginning of the transcription process because the sigma subunit have to interact uh, it has to interact with uh, the promoter sequence region which is allotted in every DNA sequences uh, before or, or few nucleotides upstream of the transcription uh, starting sequence okay so here in this picture if you think this is the starting sequence of transcription then uh, 10 nucleotide upstream and 35 nucleotide upstream we can find two regions which are denoted as the uh, as one one as Tata box another one is TT Gaka so TA TA AT sequence and another one is TT uh, uh, GACA sequence so these sequence are very very specific for binding with this polymerase so polymerase cannot initiate the transcription from the beginning point of the trans uh, of the transcription of the DNA point unless it bind with uh, bind and recognizes the promoter sequence now the promoter sequence will be much more stronger if it have this if, if it is carrying the sequence uh, similar to TA TA T and TT GACA okay so uh, uh, not always uh, most of the promoter sequence are same but uh, they are uh, tends to be very very similar so as uh, uh, so so it, it depends on the type of similarity so as uh, 
so so the degree of similarity denotes the the strong stronger affinity of this promoter with the sigma factor now if it has a stronger uh, prom uh, affinity towards the sigma factor that means the rna polymer is, is more likely to bind with those promoter and recognize those promoter and that means it is more likely those genes which are just placed between those promoters which is which are to be synthesized uh, which are uh, not which are to be transcribed sorry okay so what we have seen here it is uh, this is the promoter region one is a minus 10 region another one is minus 35 minus uh, is denoting the upstream uh, upstream uh, facility of these promoters and there are upstream elements which is further nucleotide upstream of uh, this minus 35 now this upstream region can be determined or can be uh, recognized by alpha ctd region of this alpha uh, uh, subunit and it can recognize that and right after this recognition all these other sites uh, like the sigma factor sigma 2 and sigma 4 respectively uh, can recognize and bind with minus 10 and minus 35 promoter region sequences now the sigma 2 and sigma 4 binding with minus 10 and minus 35 promoter sequences triggers this DNA to in engage with the active site cleft of the beta subunit of this polymerase 2 and right after this attachment and formation of co what is called the open complex the transcription of the DNA begins from the nucleotide 1 region which is denoted with plus 1 sequence okay so uh, this is uh, the very very basic structure of uh, of this 